all the city services you need under one roof. Such a name. Even health and hygiene are taken care of. Podiatrists, dentists, and hairstylists. <laughs> It's a lot, but volunteers help walk you through, or in Spring's case, keep a toddler calm and still for his second ever haircut. I'm glad for these programs to just help us transition to uh, back to independence. I'm Rosie Allen Herring, President and Chief Executive Officer of United Way of the National Capital Area. We want people to feel as though these services truly are meant for them and they deserve them. Thank you. Okay. This All young right. mom is working hard to get back on her feet and landed a job interview Monday. Project Homeless Connect is right on time. She got all the services she needs, plus a new outfit to make sure Monday's interview is just the first step to getting her family Get it. back on track. With success and failures, it's all temporary. You just have to maintain um, as best as you can. United Way not only marketed, they made it happen by passing out Metro cards and offering free shuttles to make sure those who needed the services could get here. At the Armory, Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9. Tonight on The Late Show, Carrie Underwood. She's got an album, Cry Pretty, and when she sings a song from it, I'm gonna cry ugly. <laughs> he always just nails that tease. The Late Show is on right after us, but don't go to bed just yet. The Chief is up next. Now, your WUSA 9 weather forecast, sponsored by Cox. Somebody over here is giddy about the prospect of cooler temperatures. Who could it be? Hmm. Ooh. I mean, I like it too. I love fall. I love all seasons, actually. But you are particularly excited. I love fall. Yeah, I, I just I, love fall. Fall is great. You know why I love fall, Leslie? You know what's after fall? Winter. Yes. Yay! Exactly. And, and you snow. Get, and you get snow only at your house. That would be fine, actually. I would be, have no problem with that. All right. As my dad used to say, just keep it off the road. Let it let accumulate on the grass. Thanks, Dad. All right. Here's the deal. Pretty nice day tomorrow. A little breezy to windy, but the bus stop temperature around 70 to start downtown. Drops a little bit, then goes back to 73 by noon, and it will make it into the upper 70s. Probably not 82, probably upper 70s tomorrow under partly cloudy skies. Pretty nice way to finish the week. Now, if you've been suffering from, you know, pollen, trees, grasses, weeds, what you need is a frost. So here are the average frost dates. I put this on the website, too. So. 17th of October for Hagerstown. Remember, it's a big range here because we cover a, a, a big area. And remember, this is the average date. You can have one two weeks before, two weeks after. Frederick, the 20th. Rockville, 24th. And then you get down into Southern Maryland. Waldorf, not until early November. And Winchester, about mid-October. Late October for Fairfax. Woodbridge, almost at the end of October. And D.C. proper, not until the 10th of November. So we got a ways to go, but once that happens, all the wheat, ragweed's gone. All right, 75 tomorrow, 68 on Saturday, back to 76 Sunday, and then low 70s Monday. Another little shot of fall-like air on Tuesday as temperatures hold in the upper 70s. Kind of nice. Okay, so a nice way to finish the week, really. It's going to be breezy to windy and cooler. Temps in the 70s, still pretty nice. I will say if you're going to go to high school football games tomorrow night or even just date night, bring a sweater or a sweatshirt. Temps will fall very quickly. Rather cool Saturday, but nice in the 60s. Milder for the game on, on uh, Sunday, FedEx, 70s. Some clouds come in late, showers west. And by that, we mean essentially I-81 and west, maybe all the way to Loudoun County by late in the day. But I think the game at FedEx is fine in terms of not having any showers. A few clouds come in late, but not, not a big deal. And temp's pretty nice. Uh, low 70s at noon, kickoff at 75, and it holds in the mid-70s. You can watch the game right here on WSA 9. Should be okay for the East United game, which is a 4 o'clock game. There's a slight chance of a shower at the Nats game if it goes late. So, Tomorrow morning, 60s to around 70 to start. Nice northwest wind. And then by, uh, say, lunchtime, we're back in the low to mid 70s, headed for the mid to upper 70s. A pretty nice day. Nice way to end the week. 68 on Saturday, even cooler. And then 76 afternoon showers possible west of town on Sunday. Probably our next yellow weather alert on Monday. By the way, there could be a shower Saturday night. Wouldn't plan around that. And then crisp Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Temperatures in the 60s to around 70. We'll be right back. What makes Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi so fast? Its new smart technology knows all the right moves. To keep all your devices...